What's up, tribe? How you guys doing? We are back for our Women's History Month Spotlight. I believe we are day 16. I'll have it right in the um, in the description box. But um, today we're going to be talking about Dr. Dorothy Height, right? Dr. Dorothy Height um, was born in 1912. So let me read you guys through her biography. On August the 28th, 1963, Dr. Dorothy Height took a seat on the speaker stage at the March on Washington for Jobs and Freedom. She was surrounded by most of the famous civil rights activists, although she was not scheduled to give remarks. That's that thing that, that thing that they want to call. Height had rightfully gained her place among these prominent leaders. Dorothy Irene Height was born on March the 24th, 2012 in Richmond, Virginia. Her family later moved to Rankin, Pennsylvania, where she excelled as a student. Height eventually received a scholarship to attend college in 1929. She was admitted to Barnard College, but was not allowed to attend because the school did not admit African Americans. Instead, Height went on to graduate from New York University, <clears throat> where she received a bachelor's in education and a master's in psychology. Her first job was as a social worker in Harlem, New York, she later joined the staff of the Harlem Young Women Christian Association, the YWCA, and in no time, Height became a leader in the local organization. She created diverse programs and pushed the organization to integrate with YWCA facilities nationwide. During a chance encounter with African-American leader Mary McLeod Bethune, Height was inspired to begin working with the Negro Council of Negro Women, um, through NCNW, Height focused on ending the lynching of African Americans and re restructuring excuse me, the criminal justice system. In 1957, she became the fourth president of NCNW. Now, I done already told y'all about the woman who was a New York prosecutor who wanted the job. Y'all got to read her biography. She took, In the biography, they get into all of the political maneuvering between these two women. Not to tear the women down, but just to let y'all know, it was some drama there. But neither here nor there. Um, the NCNW was financially aided, financially aided civil rights activists throughout the country. Height was president for 40 years. Her prominence in the civil rights movement was unmatched um, in organizing. She was regularly called to give advice on political issues um, with Eleanor Roosevelt, Dwight D. Eisenhower, Lyndon B. Johnson often sought her counsel. In 1963, Height, along with other civil rights activists, organized the March on Washington. Um, in fact, originally no women were included on the program at all. Um, Height and Anna Arnold Hedgman persuaded the other organizers to allow women to speak. Despite the apparent gender discrimination in the civil rights movement, Height continued working on the front lines. In addition to her work in the United States, Height traveled extensively. She served as a visiting professor at the University of Delhi in India and the Black Women's Federation of South, Amer South Africa. Um, and for all her efforts during the Civil Rights Movement, she was awarded and recognized by many organizations. And in 1989, she received the Citizens Medal Award from President Ronald Reagan. In 2004, Height was honored with the Congressional Gold Medal. The same year, she was inducted into the Democracy Hall of Fame internationally. She also received an estimated 24 honorary degrees, and on April 20, 2010, she passed away at the age of 98. Her funeral was, hold, was held at the Washington National Cathedral. So, there you guys have it. I will talk to y'all later. Peace.